Do you find that you're tired after a full night's sleep? Has your partner ever complained that you're snoring? Well, you could have sleep apnea. Here to talk about the sleep disorder and better yet, how to treat it, is Peter Fontaine, registered nurse and president and CEO of Epic Sleep Centers. Good morning. Thanks. Thank you for being here. You're I welcome. know uh, I know my TV counterpart, Will, mm -hmm. has said that he snores mm -hmm. quite a bit, um, but sleep apnea, it, is it very common for a lot of people? One out of six guys, uh, 30 to 60 years old, uh, have this disease. Women usually attain it at a later age, but about one out of 10. So it's a severe, it's a severe epidemic right now. Yeah. And the ability for us to diagnose it has become a lot easier. That's wonderful to hear. Um, and a lot of times, people not reali might not realize that they do have it. So what are some common symptoms that uh, we should be aware of, to um, be on the lookout for? So there's a thing that we use, it's called the STOP. And you'll see actually uh, S-T-O-P, stands for snoring being tired, mm -hmm. obstruction, meaning your spouse or your bed partner has witnessed you obstructing in your sleep with your snoring, mm -hmm. and then high blood pressure. So STOP, those are your symptoms that you need mm -hmm. to get uh, tested. And what exactly is sleep apnea? I know a lot of times we think of the snoring you know, goes along with mm -hmm. it, but, but it's far beyond that, yes? Right, so this is basically where the back of the throat and the tongue unfortunately collapse and causes an obstruction of the airway. Your oxygen levels go down. Mm -hmm. Typically, it can affect your heart. There's some very serious side effects to uh, sleep apnea. So yeah. this is why we want to get it uh, tested and treated as soon as possible. I was reading, you can stop breathing for almost 10 seconds at a time? Exactly, so we measure it by those 10 second intervals, and those are the, those are the critical areas. So some wow. people stop breathing 38 times an hour. Oh my goodness. So this is, this is called severe sleep apnea. Even at mild, five to 15 times an hour is still wow. something that needs to be treated. It really does, so how can we treat this? So the diagnostic piece of it is basically through a home sleep test device. Okay. We also have the in-lab uh, components, so our centers in Rhode Island mm -hmm. in, in Massachusetts, we, if a patient wants to go into those centers to get uh, tested, they can do that. But the home sleep testing device now, as you can see, like most mm -hmm. technology, patients pick this up, they bring it home, they wear it, and this basically diagnoses sleep apnea. Okay, and once we determine that maybe, yes, we do have sleep apnea, we can maybe wear one of these devices? Right. So basically, this is a, a, a CPAP machine here. Um, we also have what they call the mini CPAPs for patients that get acclimated to uh, using this. This mm -hmm. is the mini CPAP. This is actually going to be launched by ResMed uh, within the next few weeks. And these are the different types of masks that patients can wear. So this is basically on the bedside this is basically mm -hmm. hooked into a hose and, that, and this is what you'd wear and you just put, can I just put, put it, it on? on okay so you would put this on yep. and this goes over your nose yep and it's gonna it basically all it does is it drives <laughs> air it splints your airway open and when it splints your airway open it basically cures the sleep apnea and stops you from snoring excellent well, I kind of feel like an elephant wearing that right now. But it is, I will say, it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. A lot of cushioning on the on the nose piece there, too. So you'll still get a really good night's sleep. Peter, thank you so much. You're welcome. A lot to know. If you think you may have some symptoms of sleep apnea and you want to learn more about the treatment, go to roadshow.com where you'll find a link to Epic Sleep Center.